Can we go back to class? Now I will be teaching you the part of speech. And I will be starting from the nouns and pronouns. I repeat, the nouns and pronouns. Remember in, in the beginning chapters, I told you that part of speech just to introduce you about what part of it entails, what it's all about, what it is, without giving you the examples. But in these subsequent chapters, as I've said earlier, I will be dishing out the example to you, the types of noun, the forms of noun, the categories of nouns, and what nouns is all about. And for you not to get it twisted, the reason why I match noun and pronoun together is because they are bisrelated. That's why I say, Pronoun can be used in place of noun. Pronoun is used in place of noun. It can be used as a substitute for noun. So they go hand in hand. They are correlated. Are we together? So follow me as I read this letter for you in order to expand our understanding about the subject matter of noun. So a distinction can be made between kinds of nouns, such as common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns, Abstract nouns, concrete nouns, count nouns, and non count nouns, we can also be called or countable nouns, which is also known as mass noun. So, generally, we have seven types of noun, and we shall be teaching each one of them. I will be teaching you each one of them what each of them stand for, what they meant, the kind of Rules and functions they perform in the sentences, how they can be used in the sentences, what they actually meant. So, join me as I inform you the literal meaning of common nouns. So, common noun is a noun that are not gender specified, it is a noun that is not gender specified. Gender, that is genderality or sex specified. It is, it is a kind of a noun that does not justify the fact that whether you are referring to a person, whether he or she is male or female. Imagine the simple example of it, e.g., you saying that Tade is my friend. Tade is my friend. You realize that Tade here may be used as the name of a male and can also be used as the name of female. So the gender is not specified. And the one thing I want you to know about common now is that it is a noun that generally based itself on objects, places, and ideas. It's common now is based on objects, places, and ideas such as and used as, as an information schools markets house river man jungle goodness noise all this are a good example of common now so let's proceed to the next one which is not another one than proper now proper now these are names of people or places or places such as countries countries Town, towns, 
Months? Who be are following? Institution? And days. All these are a good example of proper now. So the beautiful thing about proper now. The beautiful thing about proper now that make it to be different from other types of now. Proper now. Is that starts with initial capital letter initial capital letter start with initial capital letter that is the most distinguishing part of it that makes it be different from other part of speech or other classes of words in English language. So examples I say Lagos I see the initial capital letter start with capital letter L Lagos. An example ranging from months, you see AP, see that AP, capital letter A. And that example, name of country or name of uh, a continent, see Europe. University. A name of places. But it must start with an initial capital letter and use that testing by local stadium. Each word must start with capital letter. Or you can use that Nam the Adikwe Stadium. All these are good examples of proper nouns. So let's proceed. Now collective nouns. Collective nouns. As the name implies. As the name implies, this refer refer to group of things. Group of things. Are you getting it? To a group of things taken together, and you combine them. You now call all of them a single name. Taking together. And examples of it can be called, e.g., Ami, Katsu, Cloud. Crowd as a group of people, class, team, etc. etc. Now let's move to the abstract now. Abstract now. Abstract. Abstract in the sense that what you can feel, but you cannot see it. Hope you are following. You can feel it, but you cannot see it. So this can be referred to as an idea. Abstract, it can be referred to as an idea idea or things or thing that cannot be seen. Not be seen. Yeah, you see that scene. The past tense cannot be seen. 
in parts participle cannot be seen, but it can be felt. But can be felt. When breeze is blowing now, you cannot see the breeze, you cannot see the hair, but you can feel it. So that is the essence of start now. It cannot be seen, but it can be felt. So let's proceed with the examples. E.g. Peace. You cannot see peace, but you can feel it. Knowledge. There's no way you can see knowledge, but you can feel it, you can sense it. Fairness. All these are a good example of abstract now. Fairness, goodness, kingship. Humility. And noise as well. All this can be referred to as abstract now. Abstract now. Now let's move, to, let's move forward to the next one, which is concrete now. Now talking about concrete now, these are names of objects that can be handled or old concrete. That's why we call it concrete. These are name a name of objects. Objects that can be handled. That can be handled. Or hold. You can hold it. Can you see it? You can see it. You can hold it. But in the case of abstract, that way in which you cannot see, but you can only fold them. This one you can see it and you can hold it. Such as Example, e.g. stone, book, table, chair, mountain, sugar, food, people, box, all these are a good example of concrete now. Concrete nouns. So let's proceed with the next one, which is can't now. Can't now. That's, these are nouns that can be counted. They can be counted. They are countable. So in this sense, this refer this refer to things. That can be single out and counted, can be counted, can be single out and be counted. That is just this. The word few the word few the words few. Many, several, I normally use with this class of word. With these classes of words. E.g. I have many books. I have many books. Which means my books I have can be counted. Many books. That's number one example. Number two. We may say. Let me see. I read several novels, though they can be counted. That is the bottom line. 
that is the point they can be counted remember the countable nouns so move to the next one not countable nouns or uncountable nouns or mass noun so these are now that cannot be counted these are kinds of nouns that are not not be counted even though you are a mathematician you cannot count it it's uncountable it's uncountable if you are a professor in mathematics phd anything just name it the qualification you cannot count uncountable nouns it means uncountable examples Water, sand, milk, knowledge, peace, all this cannot be counted. Consider this complex example, using them in word. Consider this complex example. As I want to use them in word now. Number one, I drank some coffee. I drank. I drank some coffee. I cannot count the coffee. I cannot count it. I only count the cup of coffee you drank, you drank, or the tea you took. I drank, another example, I drank two cups of tea. You see that all these are uh, things that cannot be counted unless you put it in mayor. As I put it in mayor, there are two cups. Of tea or two cups of water. Now let's proceed to forms of now. Forms. Forms of nouns. Forms of nouns. Nouns have two major former two major former features two major former features now they are one most noun most nouns have plural form plural form forms two which is b some now not all also have the possessive form possesses Possessive forms. This is genetic form. Genitive form. So this plural of nouns, I would like you to listen so I can get it right. Plurals of noun. nouns plus of nouns now you have we must also know that we have two ways of forming plural in according to noun two ways two ways of forming plurals which are number one and two
Point one. Regular formation. Formation. Number two. Irregular formation. Irregular formation. Remember that the forms of nouns is different from the plurals of nouns in the sense that it is the forms of noun that gave birth to plurals of nouns. And subsequently, plurals of noun now give birth to another forming two ways of forming plural. Which the first one is regular formation and irregular formation. Hope you are following. Good. Now. Now, the regular formation, the regular formation, many now under regular formation. We realize that many nouns, as a student, you realize if you are a student, I read a lot. By it's inquisitive that asks for knowledge. I move closer to the people that understand English, that want to learn from them. You realize that many nouns form their form their plural by adding by adding X, only a single X, and some EX. Hope you are following. Some add ex as in does follow. No three. Talking about three. Three now is a singular. But you know, to make it plural, you say trees. Are you getting it? When you come to mosquito, mosquito. When you want to make it. Plural, you make it mosquitoes. Hope we are getting the logic now. EX. I go together. Another example, roof. Talking about roof. E is a singular. When talking about the plural form of verb of it, you will say roofs. Carry only X. And that is how it goes subsequently. We talk about vowel. Vowel. In a singular form, this is it. But in a singular, in a plural form, is a singular form, vowel. In a plural form, it will carry X, only X. We call it vowels. And that is how some word go. In terms in term of vada, a singular, and it will be vadas in plural. Hope you are together. Good. When it is March, time of March, March, as in football, singular. When it is plural, it will be matches. Time of evil to be evils. Time of evil to be evils. Adding ex. Evil is a singular. The plural will be evils. Match. Be matches. As adding ex. So let's stop here and move to the regular plural form. In regular plural formation. So with this. I'm going to gain another understanding that will shape your knowledge as far nouns is concerned in, in part of speech or class of word in English language. Irregular. So in regular formation, you know that this take different form. It's a bit complex than that of regular formation. This takes many forms, different forms. different form so as I have said earlier that the regular form these take different forms take different form entirely entirely it's outside the box so we have a regular plural formation under vowel 
I mean, the vowel will change. The vowel will change. In this sense, example for that is, we say, woman. You see, this woman now is singular. When you want to change it to a regular form, and the, vowel, the vowel is going to change, now we we'll call it woman. In case of man, it's going to be men. And that's how it goes. Also, we have plural form by adding en. En. Just adding en. The example of that, we say us. So adding en to you will be oxen. I believe you are getting it. You are, you are an English student now. You will be able to know this thing. I just want to use it to build your confidence about where you are going. But we are going on the far journey. So this, when you be able to know this little thing, this simple simple thing, maybe it will maybe it will help you, and in due with you understand it in order to know the complex one. Are you getting me? So I'm not just wasting my time here. I want to impute the right knowledge into you, the right understanding into you from the elementary stage going to the complex one. So are we together? Yes. And that one is plural form with no change. Yes. As on plural, where that there's no need change. Plural form that does not need change at all. The number of plural form that does not need change, like sheep. Sheep. Sheep is singular, and the plural form is still remains sheep. Don't need to add X, don't need to add ES. It's remains like that. This is the best form of it. Sheep. Another example of that. See, fish. It may no need change. No need of changing. It may like that. Sheep, sheep. And there are some more that are already carry ES for themselves. So there too, no need of changing to me like that. There, there. Aircraft. Aircraft to me like that. Does not need any changes. So talking about series. And see this one that's already carry ES by itself. So no need of change, just leave it like that. In plural form, it's also in singular, in plural, in, in plural form. So you live in another, no changes. Talking about species. Species. Singular form. It's me like that. And we have some, whereby we need to change some words under it. We're talking about forum. Forum in simple, in singular form. I want to put it in plural form, call it further. Whereby agenda is agenda. We have a lot of things like that that demand our understanding, that shape our perception in the way we see English, in the way we see some part of speech. So we have some plural, we change in the basis plus regular. A change in the basis from regular, adding surface to it, changing the F to V by adding AX. Example of that is look at this knife, this singular form. How about the plural form will be knives? I believe you know this. I believe you know this. See, life, lives. I believe you know this. It is singular, it is plural. We have scarf. We have scarves. Scarves. You can see we have change to V and adding another surface is added. Which is AX. Other changing to V. We have wives. Wives. So many of them that we have like that. So the journey so far, thank you for being attentive, thank you for listening. I believe what we have shared so far, you have been able to gain one or two things that are going to color your understanding, color your behavior, and the way you behave, and the way you say English, and the way you are going to handle it from now on. And this is not going to do anything to you than good. It's going to shape your understanding, change your orientation, change the way you think, change the way you see English language as it is, and learn how to build your communication skills and so many other things. Which can color your academic positively, your academic performance positively in all, all the subjects. Whether you are science students, commercial students, or students, just have a quantitative, qualitative, qualitative understanding of English language. Remember, 
is the key to all subjects. So right now, we we'll move to the next, cha next chapter, next episode. So I believe you have learned one or two things. Thank you very much.